video, we will be looking at how I am playing these chords in two different styles. One, broken inverted chords, and two, the ballad style chording. We are in the key of G, so let's practice our G major scale, parallel and mirrored. In this song, Spirit of God Rest on Me, I play some of the chords in a different inversion. Most of the time, I play the E in root position. That means the name of the chord is on the bottom. Now when I go to C, I'm going to play it in this position. This is first inversion because here's C. Now if I move up and put the C on top, this is called first inversion. I've inverted the C and moved it. Okay. For the G chord, I'm also going to play an inversion. I'm going to go like this. Now let's look at the G chord in root position. Here it is. I'm just moving the top note to the bottom. So this will be second inversion because here's G. Here's first inversion. And this is second inversion. And this is how we're playing it down here. And then I go back to D in root position. Root means one. The name of the chord is the note on the bottom. So here's the chord progression. E minor. That's how I'm playing the verses. Now let's examine what we are going to play on the chorus. Now the chorus, I'm going to change my pattern, kind of like on the drum set. The drum set is playing one thing on the verses and then they do a fill and when you get to the chorus, instead of playing the hi-hat, you play the ride cymbal instead, okay? So I'm going to go from playing the individual notes individually, which is the arpeggio, okay, to doing a style like this. So I'm taking, this is a two chord. So here's the D chord, but I'm playing the second note, one, two, and five, and I'm going like this. Okay, and then I'm playing the C, the same way. Okay, every chord has a set of numbers. Just like the scale has a set of numbers, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Also, so here's the C chord. This is one, two, and five. Okay, the D chord, here we have it. One, three, and five. Every chord has its own set of numbers. So now I'm gonna make it a two chord by adding the second note from the root. And then I'm gonna jump up to G. Actually like playing this in 
version of D a lot. And so since it's so close to G, it becomes easier to play D here. Okay, so let's look at the D chord in root position. I'm playing first inversion because I'm moving this note up here. And since it's so close to G, Now we are going to transition to the chorus. As we end the verse, we will start playing the ballad style as a pickup beat into the chorus. Here it is again, transitioning from the D broken chord to the C chord in ballad style. Here is the style change transition again in slow motion. First play the individual notes one finger at a time. End on the thumb and then hit the two fingers at the same time alternating with the thumb. Then move to the next chord starting with the two fingers and then the thumb. Two fingers, thumb two fingers, thumb. Going back to the verse, go back to the other style because we want a variation. We want to play different on the verses in the chorus. It adds variety to our playing. Mm -hmm. 